storage areas and dark rooms while each object was accounted for and then studied by a team of scholars from around the world. Carter and this team patiently documented and then helped preserve the massive amounts of age-old objects for which the Egyptian government had claimed exclusive rights by 1925. By mid-February 1923, the antechamber was clear, with the exception of two Ka statues carved in the image of Tutankhamun. Like so many of the ancient Egyptian statues, they had a specific purpose. They could function as the mummy's proxy should it be damaged or destroyed, as well as serve as the ever-watchful guardians to the burial chamber. Interestingly, before Carnarvon's death and before the official opening of the tomb on February 17, 1923, the curiosity of both Carter and Carnarvon had gotten the better of them. In this picture, between the two life-size statues is a basket propped against the wall. This basket had been placed there by the two in an effort to disguise a hole they had prematurely poked into the wall in order to peer into the room beyond. Carnarvon's brother,